Alright, so in this video we're going to finish off these uh, this hood vents we're seeing over here. So let's go ahead and take the uh, the hood and let's go over to the top view. Let's go into edit mode on the hood and let me just take a look at this right here. Let me see. We're going to take the very one at the top, this very one over here. I want to press Shift and ND to duplicate it and I want to press P to separate the selection like that. So let's get out of edit mode and select that new selection and let's go over to the top view let's go into edit mode so this is what we have right now all right so what we're gonna do is you can see we have it in the blueprints I don't know how many holes we have going on but hopefully we can get this right so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press F and let's go into wireframe and let's press I to insert the faces to about here like that and let me just let me see let's go over to the top view and now you can see we have it extend into the side. We want this to pull, I mean to continue all the way to that side. So let's use the knife tool to do that. So just press K to activate the knife tool. And let's cut this through to here, like this. Then press E to make a new cut. Then click on this one and then cut through to there. Then press space to confirm it, like that. Alright. So what we're going to do now is to take these two. Press alternate. Make sure this is the last selection, okay? Press alternate and choose merge at last. And then do the same with this. Just choose merge at last. Like that. Alright, so let's go into wireframe. And what we're going to do now is let's take all of the vertices from here to here. Make sure this is the last selection. Let's change the orientation to global. I think it's on normal. And then let's change the pivoting point to active elements. Now press S N and Y and type in 0 to flatten it like that. And then let's just rotate it in the Z axis so it falls on the blueprint line a little bit better like that I'm gonna do the same thing with the top one here so S and N Y type in 0 and I think it's pretty good like that now I'm gonna take all of these as well I'm gonna press S and N X and type in 0 and this time I'm gonna rotate it to fall on the blueprint line quite close so I'm gonna pull it to this point let's rotate it to about there let's see how that looks alright so not bad it's looking quite good actually so let's get into wireframe and let me see if I'm going to uh, what do you call it wireframe and let's take all of these okay making sure that is the active element I mean the yeah the active element press S and X and type in zero to make them uh, straight up and down like that so you can see what I did if I undo and redo you can see what I did I just made sure they were straight up and down using the ruler for you guys to see you can see what I mean like that so with that done what we're going to do now is to add in another one over here and another one up here as well I'm going to take all of these make sure this is the active element S and X and type in 0 with the same thing like that alright so that is looking good now all that we're going to do now is to take this one and that one press S and X and type in 0 just the same thing and let's pull this back to about here first off let me undo this okay so in this case over here I'm just going to leave this one alright and I want to take only this one over here because we don't want that ruining the roundness over here. Because if I pull this closer, you can see it's 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 uh, ruining the curvature of that end over there. So I'm only going to take this one, and I will take all of this. Press S and X and type in zero, like that. And I want to pull it in the x-axis to about somewhere here, like this. I'm not so sure, but let me just you know let me let me let me undo that. Let me take this. I want to pull it in the x-axis just a little bit like to about here like that and let's take all of this and pull it back a little bit like that alright so that is looking good now all that we're going to do now is let me see I think I counted these holes we have 10 holes in the middle here and we have 14 in the middle here so all I'm going to do let me take this to and press J take this to and press J and <coughs> sorry I want to try and fit in 10 holes in this area here. I want to try and fit in 14 holes in this area here, which means we're only going to need 7 holes on this side. And then the mirror will take care of the rest. Alright, so what we're going to do is, let me see. If we take these two and then we press J, I'm pretty sure we have our first hole that is. Uh, now let me just take, let me just take this one. I'm going to press G twice and slide it to about this point. Alright, so all that we need now is that 14 holes, we have one already, I mean 10 holes, we have one already, I think I need to pull it in a little bit better, to about there, 
and let's see how we can achieve that 10 holes so we need 10 holes and let me see let me see what we can do if we need 10 holes that means we need 20 spaces which we already have one over here so we need uh, about 19 more I think let me see so 19 more let's add in 18 and let's see the number of faces we have here so I'm going to select all of these faces and that gives us uh, how many faces 20 faces there we go so if we are to select and leave one space in each of them then we're gonna have this pretty much uh, how much how much do we have selected 10 faces alright that is great but we need that face that last face that last face to be next to this space over here so we're gonna undo all that real quick I'm just gonna undo all that let me just go to face select and let's add in let's try adding in 17 this time and let's see let's select the faces again so just select the faces like that let's see how many faces do we have 10 all right so just add in 17 I think 17 is a good number and it should be good to go all right so all that we're gonna do now is let me see maybe just delete the faces I think if we delete the faces this is what we have but before we actually delete the faces let me undo all that come on yeah so before we actually delete the faces let's go into edit mode and let's add this one also okay so we need seven seven holes on this side as well uh, beginning from this side so let's try adding in six vertices this is six uh, six is not going to give us seven holes, so I think. Oh, hold up. Let me see. We need seven holes, which means we need fourteen spaces. So let's add in thirteen, and let's see how that looks. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So we need six spaces. I mean, six edges in the middle. Uh, no, I meant twelve edges like that. Let's select this again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there has to be a space in the middle. So I think thirteen was right. Let's try thirteen again. Uh, thirteen. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So that should be good. And we can select these ones as well. The extra ten on this side. But before we actually do that, here's what I want to do. Let me see. Uh, let me just knife this, okay? So I'm going to knife this from here. And press C to constrain the uh, knifing so it's, it's in a straight line. I want to knife this from here all the way to the center. Then left click again. And then press E. We're going to do the same thing over here. And then left click again to confirm it. Now let's go over to vertex select mode. We're going to take all of these. And let's just press G twice and slide it down to about here. And let's bring it down a little bit more. Very close, like that. And let's do the same with this one. Press G twice, slide it up very close to there. Like that. And we're going to select all of these faces from here. So select this small space over here. And let's move all the way here. Hold down Control and Shift. And let's select all of that. Now we're going to deselect the ones that we don't need which is the ones in the middle and trust me this is the easiest way to select them you don't have to select each faces one by one hold on and do all that I think we want to start from here yeah so as I was saying you don't have to select each faces one by one because that would be a much longer method I think this is the best method you can use to select them like this as you can see just deselect the ones that need deselecting as I'm doing right now and this is what we have so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna press X and delete the faces and you can see we have a vent going on but we have a bit of a problem here and how we're gonna fix that is we're gonna select vet we're gonna go into vet select motor right we're gonna select all of this and let's pull it in the X axis alright until the space in the middle is about the same size as the rest so let's keep pulling it in there like that and I think that is about good yeah I'm pretty sure that is about good so let's go over to the top view 
let's go into edit mode and you can see everything is already looking great and let me see what else do we have to do uh, I'm not so sure I think we have to create this area right here so all we got to do for that is to press control and R through here <coughs> sorry and I'm gonna left click and then right click just make sure the cut is two and let's pull this back to about here let's take this and pull it back to about here and let's press control and R through here left click and then right click and then let's pull this all the way to this side take this pull it all the way to this side like that so with that done all, all that we're gonna do now is to press control and R through here again left click then right click and I'm gonna take let me see it's going to face select I'm gonna select all of this I don't think pulling it up will be a good idea so let me see uh, we have shrink wrap going on so let's put up the shrink wrap modifier for now and let me see how this looks I want to extrude this that doesn't help let me see okay so let's just pull it up to here and let's go to vertex select mode let's put up the subdivision okay so we're going to take these two press alt and m and choose at last like that take these two alt and m choose at last i want to do the same with this alt and m at last with this alt and m at last and same here alt and m at last alt and m at last so you can basically just press shift r after that to you know repeat the command like that and that is what we have let's re-enable subdivision surface and you can see what we have going on so all that we have to do now is to define this so in order to define that I'm gonna press control and R through here I'm gonna add in two take this one I'm gonna pull it all the way to here take this pull it all the way to there like that I wanna press control and R through here pull this in close to about here and pull this in close to about there nice so this is coming out pretty nicely let's just click on object and select shade smooth to you know make everything look much better I wanna press control and R through this one again and through that one just to make it more sharp nice so that is looking really great just the way we want it to I'm just gonna take both of these I'm gonna move it down in the Z axis a little bit more and I think that is great alright so all that I'm going to do now is to select, I mean, we're going to add in a, um, we're going to add in a, um, what do you call it, a solidify modifier. I'm only going to solidify it on the rim like that. So let's go into local view and you can see what I mean. So only rim only solidifies it. I mean, only rim solidifies it only around the rim so it doesn't add a full thickness to it like that. So with that done, I think that is about a good amount of thickness but you can see we have some problems going on in here so all the I mean the only way we can fix that is to take each of these faces let's go into add select mode all right and select each and every single one of those faces I mean those holes not faces all of those holes every single one of it like that and all that we're going to do is let's go into top view let's try this first so let's press F and then let's press I to insert the faces to about somewhere I don't know to about somewhere something small not too much and press X and delete the faces so that should kind of help fix it I think well not too bad not too bad well, let me get over to the top view again let's undo that I don't know if that is a good idea but it could have helped somehow have helped uh, let me see yeah let's just do it let's insert it by this time let's insert it some more a little bit much more than what we did before and there we go so you can see the bevel is looking much nicer but it's quite sharp in that area so just make sure you maintain that very nicely like that it's looking good very good nice so now let's go into vertex select mode let's take all the vertices from here to there and let's press W select loop tools and choose space I'm gonna do the same with this W loop tools choose space and then the same with this W loop tools and choose space I'm gonna do the same thing from here below 
select all of this W loop tools space same here W loop tools space and finally over here W loop tools space alright so there we go now all that I'm going to do now is to apply to solidify let's try applying it and see what happens so applying it gives us this result and you can see it's looking great now all that I'm going to do is press Control and R2 here press E and then F align it with the top and pull it up to about here now all I'm going to do is to drop the subdivision surface to 2 because I think 1 is too much and that gives us a bit of a problem but I think it should be good should be good should be good alright let's see what happens we press Control and R3 here you know I'm going to leave it like that for now I'm going to leave it at level 2 for now so let's just keep it at level 2 for now and applying the solidify created some problems over here so let's go down here and you can see what I mean so it added in extra uh, vertices in the middle here where we don't need it so just select that vertex over here let's move all the way up here hold down control and shift and select that one now press X and delete the vertices and it should get rid of that problem very nicely alright so that is good so this is the vent that we were looking to make as you can see it's looking great now one final thing we want to do is to take all this, let's hide it, and we want to take all these ones, alright, and I want to press I to insert the faces like that, I want to bring this up and enable boundary like that, because if you don't enable boundary, it inserts it around this area as well, as you can see, it's inserting around this area, but this is the only area where we need it to be, so let's press Alt and H to bring everything back. And you can see we have what we need so this is what we were looking to create and we have succeeded so let's get back to global view and let's see how this looks on the hood so press the division sign on the keyboard to go back to global view and you can see it's looking really great so we're just going to rename this to the appropriate name we're going to call it the <coughs> hood vent like that and then press enter all right so that will pretty much do it for this video. This area is already looking great. Now in the next video or in a video after, we'll be creating the hole for this hinge over here because I forgot we didn't create that on the hood. So we might actually be doing that in the next video or the video after. So I'll see you guys in the next video.